For those of you who may watch this service later, let me just say a warm welcome back to your cathedral. My name is Jan Cope. I'm the provost of the cathedral, and it is particularly my joy to offer this brief service of noonday prayer on the Feast of All Saints Day. And we hope next year we'll be able to be back to our more traditional Eucharist at noon to welcome all of you back. But let us now begin and pray. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And let us pray together Psalm 126. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us and we are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the water courses of the Negev. Those who sowed with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying the seed, will come again with joy, shouldering their sheaves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our scripture for today is taken from Paul's letter to the Romans, the fifth chapter, the fifth verse. The love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. Thanks be to God. I just wanted to take a few minutes really to say thank you. Uh, this day when we remember the saints who've been in our lives, but whom we no longer see. We think about so many saints within our lives, within this cathedral community, and more particularly today, members of All Hallows Guild and extended families. I know many of you were present for the service we held for Ruth Anna Weber up in the great choir all 104 years of an extraordinary life. We remember also this day Peggy Picard, Guy Stewart, John Bowles, and Douglas Nellis Beatty. I may have missed some and invite any of you who know others to share their names aloud or in your hearts. In the past year and a half, there have been so many saints among us, have there not? People on the front lines who we might not have envisioned at the time as saints as we traditionally think of them, but people in hospitals, people delivering the mail, people delivering groceries, the people who day by day risk their own lives to help support ours. And I love the fact that you're facing the east end of the cathedral because as you look at the rare dos, at the high altar, that is just a small expression of the communion of saints. We've been through so much and we're still in it in so many ways. And one of the profound blessings that I've witnessed in these past 18 months is the beauty and the solace that you've made possible with these 59 acres that we call our cathedral close home. From the very early days, I was probably the only one coming in regularly into my office. And I would see so many groups of people spread out on the grounds. 
in how it provided solace and comfort and beauty in the midst of so much trauma and uncertainty and darkness. The gift that you give is a gift for the ages, but it's particularly been poignant um, as we've all gone through this time and continue to do so. I would not only see families gathered, I'd see people out there doing yoga, people who use the space to space out and practice their music, so many different groups of people coming here to experience the sacred and the holy in a way that was meaningful to them. And it always helped to encourage me in the midst of it. So I hope you know, I know you know, that what you do matters. And it particularly has been so in the past 18 months. So thank you, God bless you, for the saints in our midst in this day and in this time. And may this day be one of remembrance and giving thanks. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Together, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you've knit together your elect in one communion and fellowship in the mystical body of your Son, Christ our Lord. Give us grace so to follow your blessed saints in all virtuous and godly living, that we may come to those ineffable joys that you have prepared for those who truly love you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. And together in a prayer familiar to all of you. O oh God, you've made all things bright and beautiful. We praise you for your wonderful works. As we engage in the work of planning and caring for the grounds of this cathedral, give us discerning minds and grateful hearts that we may be good stewards of your green earth and bring joy to all creatures who find rest in this place. As the members of All Hallows Guild lovingly tend the flowers and the trees, the vine and the branches, so too let us tend the relationships which you have given us to cultivate, that we may delight in the work that you have called us to do and serve you with gladness and grace. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you all.